Hi my followers and skaters! Welcome to my YouTube channel! Today I would like to give you guidance and advice how to choose the best figure skates for you. I am on my way to the ice rink and what I would like to say. The figure skates should match with your ice skater's ability, age and skating level. So this video will be very interesting for a lot of skaters. Let's start! This vlog gives guidance and advice on how to choose the best figure skating boots. About blades I will talk later in my future vlog. Don't be lazy, subscribe to my Facebook page and you can find full article about how to choose the best figure skating boots. Purchase skates from saucers that no figure skating. It is recommended that skaters purchase figure skates from a store that deals exclusively with figure skates. Consult a figure skating coach. Take time to consult your coach before purchasing skates. Don't buy cheap skates. Inexpensive figure skates may draw some buyers. However, when it comes to figure skates, you do get what you pay for. Used figure skates are okay. Sometimes good used boots and blades are better than inexpensive, lower quality new skates. Make sure that boots fit properly. Also make sure that the used boot has support. The blades need to have some sharpening life. Figure skates must fit. The foot has to fit in the skating boot. There should be no extra room in the boot, especially in the heel. New boots may hurt. Understand that good figure skating boots may hurt at first. Expect a breaking period. Recommended figure skates for beginning ice skaters. There are many entry-level figure skates available for beginning and recreational skaters. Jackson is one of the most popular brands, but other figure skate companies are producing entry-level skaters. Follow me on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channel, Bon Bon Skating Online Academy. Every week I post a new video where I am sharing my professional knowledge about figure skating, coaching, figure skating experience in Canada, figure skating experience in Europe and Ukraine. So follow me. Maybe it's 6.45, maybe I'm barely alive.